In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Almighty Father, we are grateful. We thank you because you love us. And you want to speak unto us the word of assurance. You want to speak to us the word of love. You want to assure us you have called us to yourself and you will never leave us. We worship you. I'm praying that your children will be strengthened by this. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. I am speaking to you on God's betrothal. God's betrothal to you. He betroths you unto himself, which means you also have gotten God as a betrothal. But God's betrothal to you. God has taken you closely to himself. It's like a man that betrothes a woman to himself. He has gone into covenant with the woman. He has made a promise the woman too can say, oh, this is my betrothal husband. This is the man that will marry me. God, or let's make the topic this way, God has betrothed you to himself. God has betrothed you. God will betroth you to himself. God has betrothed you to himself. Has promised that you will be his own. has promised that he will be your own. He will be your God, and you will be his own. In the book of Hosea, chapter 2, I read verse 19 to 21. And I will betroth thee unto me, forever. I'm going to get you to myself. To be with me forever. I'm going to make you a wife, a betrothed wife, to be mine forever. My relationship with you shall be forever. This is wonderful. It's exciting. God is saying to you, young man, that your relationship with him will be forever. Young girl, God is saying his relationship with you shall be forever. 
With everlasting love have I loved thee. With loving kindness have I drawn thee. God is saying his love for you is not for one day, not for one year, not for ten. Those who must understand this are those who have really, really come close to God and have enjoyed him. Enjoyed him. Good. Surely God is good. Those who have seen the goodness of the Lord in their lives, when they hear that God says, that will be your portion forever. That good God will be with you forever. Those who have enjoyed the passionate love of God will be thrilled. When God says, you, you feel fine because of me, with my presence, every year until you leave this earth, that is your portion. Even when you leave this earth, you'll be entering into everlasting love. You are my own forever. It depends on the way you have come to God. You who have not come to God will not understand this. You will not understand the value of what I am saying. But you who have come to God will appreciate what I am saying. That God says his relationship with you will be forever. His love for you will be forever. Your joy in Christ shall be your portion forever. The divine presence of God that thrills you shall be thrilling you forever. The peace and comfort you have in him is are your portion forever. Amen. That's wonderful. I will betroth thee unto me forever. All the days of your life. I am going to take care of you forever. I am going to be providing for you forever. I am going to be caressing you forever. Amen. I will be blessing you forever. Amen. I am going to protect you forever. Amen. I will betroth thee unto me. I will draw you to me, to stay with me. That is what God is saying. That which you see between me and you shall continue to grow. You will be seeing better of me, better of me, better of me forever. What a blessed, blessed thing. Blessed thing forever. Comfort forever. Peace forever. Satisfaction forever. Honor forever. All from God for you, there shall be no end. And of his government, there shall be no end. For his rule over your life, there shall be no end. For his kindness over your life, there shall be no end. Go back there. And I will betroth thee unto me forever. Yeah, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness. 
I'm going to make you righteous. I will guide you in righteousness. Um, God is telling you who have given yourself to him. Who have fixed your eyes on him. Who are determined to serve him. He is going to make you righteous. He is going to plan your steps on righteousness. forever. The Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He restored my soul. He leadeth me on the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And the Lord says, I will always, because you are mine, I will be guiding you on the path of righteousness. Amen. You will always enjoy victory over sin. Amen. I will do it because you are mine. You have put your heart with me, on me. You have set your eyes on me. You have accepted my invitation to be, to be my son. It is forever. You know, this gives me joy. Because I said, from, 2000, from 1983, when the Lord restored me fully for himself, and brought me to full consciousness of the Christian life, which began in around 1977, 1977, the Lord has guided me step by step to this time in his righteousness. I never backslid for any one year. I did not backslide for six months. I didn't backslide for one month. I never backslided any one week. There's no one day in my life that I say I had backslided. backslided. There's no one hour that I would say I turned from the Lord, never. This scripture got fulfilled in my life and is fulfilled in my life and shall be fulfilled in my life until I leave this earth. Amen. I will betroth thee unto me forever. That's what the Lord is promising to do to you. Young man, your Christianity shall not end on the way. By the plan of God, you shall not end up Christianity on the way. Amen. Lady, this your good God that you love, darling Jesus, is saying, I should tell you, there is no time he will abandon you. Never. Never. You will always enjoy the help of God in your life. You will always enjoy the guidance of God in your life. Amen. You will always enjoy answer to prayer when you call upon him. You will always enjoy victory over sin when you look unto God. Back to what he said in verse 14. In verse 19. And I will betroth thee unto me forever. This will continue forever. Yeah, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness and in judgment. This talks about his word, the word of truth, his truth, his justice. 
he said, I am going to be truthful to you and I'm going to make you truthful. You, we are going to work together. We will work together through this earth in truthfulness, in justice. Your way shall be right. Your way shall be truth. You'll be working with me through this life. This is fantastic. I'm so happy that I'm working with God through this life. In truth, in truth, in truth, in the word of God, the word of God shall never leave you. God will always refresh his word and lead you to new knowledge in him. That is his promise. He didn't come to you to leave you. The God that stood by Isaac since childhood until Isaac died in good old age. Is it 180 years? Isaac died in good old age and the Lord was with him to the end and took Isaac to heaven, and is called, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. As for Abraham, he got him at 75. As for Isaac, he got him from childhood, and never left him. Boy, Jesus will never leave you. Sister and girl, Jesus will never leave you. He has picked you from childhood. He will never leave you. In the same way, Satan, when Satan gets hold of a man, he doesn't want to leave him. When Satan gets hold of a person, Satan will never want to leave that person. How much more God? How much more? God will never want to leave you. Except some people who come and fight him. God, I don't want you. I say you should go your way. Leave me alone. I trust you won't do God this. You won't disappoint him. I trust you will not come and say, I don't want you again. As long as you do not disappoint God. As for God, he said, I should give you 100% of his promise. That you should not bother. He will see you through. He will help you. He will sustain you. He will carry you through. I will betroth thee in judgment. In my word. The knowledge of my word. The knowledge of the truth. You will grow in the knowledge of the truth. You will grow in the knowledge of the world. Again, look at it in verse 19. I will betroth thee unto me forever. This thing will continue. Yeah, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness and in judgment and in loving kindness. And in loving kindness. Do you know what God is saying? I am going to love you. I who am talking this to you, God is also talking to me. And I'm very happy for God to say he will, he will keep on loving me. Ah, then God, you will have my full heart. You will have my full heart of love. Since you have promised me, you will keep on loving me. As for me, I surrender. Yes. As for me, I surrender fully to you. As for me, I will love you. I promise it. I will be with you. I will serve you. I will submit to you. I will obey you. God, you are promising me you will love me. So God is promising you that he will love you. Come. He said, I should tell you, 10 years to come, if the rapture has not happened, 
you will see a greater level of love of God in your life. Amen. You will understand better then that truly this God is a God of love. This God that picked you from your childhood is a God of love. He will never abandon you on the way. He said he will keep on loving you. I will betroth thee unto me in love, in loving kindness, in goodness. I will be doing you good. I will be healing your sicknesses. I will be providing you success. I will be defending you. I will be protecting you. My kindness will be upon you. I will deal with you with all love. You will see my words coming in love. I will keep on making you joyful upon this earth. I will be with you. Things that you are not qualified to have, I will make you have it. Places you are not qualified to reach, I will make you reach those places. Appointments of life, attainments of life that you were not supposed to have been there, I'm going to do it for you. I will bring you to that, to that point. I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to give you a seat among great men. That's what he did to Solomon. Before Solomon was born, there were wise men upon the earth. Wise men. He raised up Solomon gradually to become the wiser than the wise men. Solomon became wiser than the wise men. So God is saying, I'm going to make you somebody among women. You're going to come up by my blessing. Forget about any deformity in your life. Your honor will be above deformity. Your honor. The prestige God is going to give you will be above deformity of your body. People shall not look to that anymore, but shall honor you because God has chosen to honor you. What shall God do to the man whom he loves? What shall God do to the, child, to the, to the woman he loves? Suggest it. Your prayers and your requests shall be granted. Let's be happy with God. Let's be happy. This is what is coming to you from God. Let's go back there. I will betroth thee unto me forever. This is, this is going to be your portion. Now, if it will happen like that on earth, what about heaven? If God will do this thing for you on earth where Satan is, God said, I will transcend Satan. I will overtake Satan in your life. I will bind Satan over your life and cause my goodness to flow to your life. Now, if this will be done where Satan is, what about when you enter heaven? Ah, joy forevermore. Happiness forevermore. Satisfaction. Comfort, peace forevermore. He said, I, yeah, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness. You will know my right ways. You will know what to do in this life so that you don't err. And in judgment, you will know my truth. And in loving kindness and in mercies, and in mercies, 
everybody say, and in mercies. Ah. Mm. God is good. Sometimes Satan wants to remove you from the presence of God by causing you to commit sin. He thinks that when you commit sin, you are gone. The Lord said, do you remember how I shot Peter mercy? Even, if, even when he denied me before the people, because Satan pressed on him. I told him that Satan wanted to sift him as, as wheat. That was a sifting. But did I leave Peter? I put my eye of mercy on him. I reached out to Peter in mercies. And Peter remembered me and jumped back from backsliding. I'm going to remember you even when you go wrong. I'm going to do all that I will do, all that is doable in your life to secure you. All that is doable, I will do it. Because Satan is the one that brings out some of these things to think that I will be angry with you and clear you off. I will tell Satan that I am a patient God over my children. I am a patient God. Except the child that chooses not to come back. Did I not recover Peter? I recover. Yes. Why didn't I kill Jonah and say, you disobeyed me, disobeyed me, all fish carry him go. See the message I shot Jonah. Listen, those who go off from God eventually are stubborn people who don't want him at all. The fault is not with God, it's with them. The fault is with them. Those who went off from God and eventually went to hell, who were Christians, the fault is not with God. He showed them mercies, but the pleasures of this world kept them. And some were postponing their own. And hey God, I will come. Don't worry, God. In fact, I will come. When I finish this, I will come. God, don't worry. When I marry, I will come. God, don't, when I finish my school, just allow me to live my life. When I finish, and they died on the way. Take the promise of God and relax yourself. It's not that you, you should go and sin. I write unto you that you may not sin. But God is saying, don't allow Satan to discourage you because you, I have betrothed you to myself. Don't mind. In time of weakness, I will be there. I will be there. I will forgive your sins when you call me, when you turn to me. I will forgive your sins. And I will straighten you back again. He brought me up also. Out of an horrible pit, out of a miry clay, and set my feet upon the rock and established my goings. He put a new song in my mouth, even praise. 
That's what God is saying. You fell into a pit. He brought you out. Into the miry clay that should stuck your feet. He pulled you out of that place. And put you on a rock. Not a sinking sand anymore. And put a new song in your mouth. Joy, deliverance. This is divine promise that God has. He wants you to know that you should be safe in, on, on, under his hands. Feel safe under the hands of God. Feel safe under the hands of God. Don't allow the devil to threaten you. Yes. Don't allow Satan to threaten your life and to be telling you that mm -hmm, don't disturb yourself. You will not continue this Christian life. God says, I will help you to continue. Let not, don't listen to the mockery of Satan. Ah, don't bother yourself. Even you, you will die on the way. God says, I will make you to live. Don't fear. Don't listen to what Satan is saying. I will make you to live. I will make you to live. Because I will show you mercy. I will show you kindness. That's what God is assuring you. I'm going to show you kindness. I will betroth you to myself not in one day two days three days no it says forever i want you to have confidence in me i want to i want to strengthen your christian life so that you can speak boldly before satan even if satan gives you a dream and you find yourself drinking alcohol in your dream. You find yourself sleeping with a man, with a woman in your dream. Well, that is in dream. Wake up and tell Satan that that will not change God's mind towards me. This dream that you caused me to dream will never change God's mind towards me. I tell you, I am a child of God. I am for God. And I will not be feeling guilty for this thing that happened in a dream. Because my God knows that I didn't go and do it in my, with my full consciousness. He knows. He knows. He knows. And he told me he will be with me forever. Even now as I wake up from my sleep, God is with me. God is with me. Even now that I have woken up from my sleep, God is with me. I don't need to fear. I say, oh, have I backslidden? No. You have not backsliding. You have not backsliding. That thing in dream is not, it's not reality. Don't allow Satan to trouble you. Eh, you dream you were smoking. Forget, leave, leave Satan alone. He's, he's the one smoking, not you. He acted a drama before you and said you are the one. Tell him that you're not the one. Say to Satan that you are not the one. I am not the one, Satan. The person that has backslidden and has left heaven is Satan, not you. Yes, it's Satan. You're not the one. All assurance Satan is giving you. Somebody will come and say, Hey, sister, I dreamed that you put on earrings and that you, uh, you in fact, you palm your hair. Tell him the person he saw is a mami with that woman somewhere that, that just put your face. It's not you. As for you, God has betrothed you forever. Amen. God has, will show you mercy. God will not allow that thing to come on your way. You will serve the Lord. I say you will serve the Lord. Amen. I say you will serve the Lord. Ten years to come, 
we shall see you in the Lord. That time, maybe you have become one of the coordinators. Yes. Who knows whether you have, we will send you to another country to be a, a national coordinator. Or you are one of these great crusade preachers. Or you will be in singing, singing ministry. I've told you before, great ministries are coming down upon our brethren, our children. The Lord shall anoint them. Holy Ghost shall come upon them. Holy Ghost shall pour power upon them. They will do last day's exploits for Jesus. Raise up your hand and say, here am I here. I am one of those that shall be doing last day's exploit for Jesus. No backsliding in my life. No backsliding in my life. Hallelujah. Exactly. I will betray thee unto me forever. Yes, he said, I will betray thee unto me in righteousness and in judgment and in loving kindness and in mercies. I will even betray thee unto me in faithfulness. One, I'm going to make you faithful. You will do my will. You will serve me according to my will. You will serve me according to my ways. All these people that are embezzling money and they are pastors, you will not be one of them. Amen. I say you will not be one of them. Amen. These cheats who commit immorality, God called them to come and serve him and they are busy committing immorality in the choir. Committing immorality in the church. Sleeping with women, opening themselves to men, you are not going to be one of them because you will be faithful before the Lord. You will be a true and sincere servant. God said this is what he will do in your life. You are going to be a true and a sincere servant of God. Faithful. God says, I'm not going to change towards you. I will not change towards you. I will betroth thee unto me in faithfulness. You will see me faithful. Come. <laughs> Let me explain to you faithfulness. Faithfulness means unchanging, stable, durable. Faithfulness, durable, never changing, enduring forever. Faithfulness, it means there shall be no shadow of turning. Everything shall be as it has begun. Let me tell you something that is faithful. The sun in the sky is faithful. Why? It does not fail to rise. It does not fail to set. It does not fail to rise. It does not fail to set. So that you can count your number of years conveniently by the sun. How old are you? I'm asking you. That means how long has the sun been rising and setting since you were born? That's what I'm, that's another way of asking you, how old are you? The sun rises and sets seven days in a week, 30, 31 days in a month, 365 and one quarter days in a year. And that has continued, 
continue and you're counting your years by it you're counting your years by it until you say i am 22 years wonderful the sun has never ceased to, to rise and to set so god is going to bring this stability in your life your life will be stable you will not be the falling and rising type of person you will be stable in righteousness you will be stable in service you will be stable in your commitment <laughs> i noticed that i'm thinking i am busy at this time in work and in the service of god but i look back and say since holiness movement began i don't know when i was less busy <laughs> i'm telling you every day i have been very busy every day i have been very busy so that am i busier i don't know am i less busy than yesterday i don't know i wish somebody should have been there should be should be writing my record to let me know what is actually the condition of my life <laughs> whether i am busier or less busy but is the same i didn't have time all this while in fact I, did, I don't have time. Simple like that. Because I'm looking for more time. There are more things I want to do. I'm just wondering, how will I do it? God, help me. I want to do more things for you. So God is going to make you stable in commitment. Stable. That's what he's saying. There shall be no shadow of turning. There shall be no time you say, I'm not, I'm not doing God's work again. No, you'll be doing God's work. God will help you. I say, God will help you. I will betroth thee unto me. Now, see it in verse 20. I will even betroth thee unto me in faithfulness, and thou shalt know the Lord. You will know Jesus. Amen. Your heart shall become clear about Jesus. Uh, I trust Jesus has marked you as one of the people he will appear to in the future. Amen. That you will say, I saw Jesus. Maybe the Lord has marked you as one of the persons he will take to heaven to go and see him. And then you will come back and tell more people on earth. Do you, will you like it? If Jesus says, I want to carry some people to heaven to go and see my glory, to come and preach me to people in this world. How many of you want to be one of such persons? Jesus, remember me. Write my name. Write my name. Please, write my name. I want to go to heaven to go and see it and come and tell people before I go back finally. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I pray that your name will be written among those people. Amen. To make you a wonderful preacher. Like Sister Linda. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's what the Lord is saying. He is going to make you know the Lord. He is going to make you see the Lord. All your doubts will vanish. You who are thinking, is this God there? Jesus. Jesus, let me touch you. Where are you? Jesus. You will know him in your heart. You will know him clearly. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One glorious morning, I shall see my Savior. One glorious morning, by and by. One glorious morning, I shall see my Jesus. One glorious morning, by and by, by and by. One glorious morning, I shall see 
Hallelujah. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy. Hallelujah. Your, your life shall shine bright. One glorious morning, I shall see my Redeemer. One glorious morning, by and by. One glorious morning, I shall see my Jesus. One glorious morning, by and by, by and by. Yes, you will see him. It is in divine plan. You will open your eyes, the eyes of your heart, the eyes of your understanding. Glory, you will see Jesus. You will know he is there. One glorious morning, I shall see my Redeemer. One glorious morning. By and by, one glorious morning, I shall see my Savior. One glorious morning, by and by, by and by. Verse 21, and it shall come to pass in that day, I will hear, said the Lord. I will hear the heavens, and they shall hear the earth. A promise for swift answer to prayers. A promise. The Lord shall hear your prayers. Praying for sick people, they shall be healed. The Lord shall hear your prayers. Praying against the forces of darkness and they shall flee. The Lord shall hear your prayers. He shall respect your prayers. He will send down rain through your prayers. He will shut up rain through your prayers. I will betroth thee unto me. Take this as a precious thing. Ask God to do it. Ask God to betroth you to himself. Promise him you want to serve him. You don't want to fall away. You don't want to backslide. Oh Lord, I don't want to, make, to, 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 to move from you. Please help me in my persecutions. Persecution from my parents, persecution from my husband, persecution from my workplace, persecution from my friends, persecution from my school. Lord, help me in my school never to corrupt myself. Oh Lord, help me in the business never to go into bad business. Lord, I want to be righteous. I want to know you more and more. I want to know you more and more. I want to know you more and more, Jesus. I want to know you more and more, more and more. Ask him. Ask him. Ask the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Tell him that you want to know him, you want to serve him, you want to praise him. I want to serve you more and more. Amen. I want to serve you more and more. I want to serve you more and more, Redeemer. I want to serve you more and more, more and more. Tell him you want to serve Jesus. Nothing should stop you in the service of God. Worship, worship. God is also looking for you to serve him. He is looking for you to, to belong to him forever. Tell him so. 
I want to follow you more and more. Yes, I want to follow you more and more. Oh Lord, I want to follow you more and more. Redeemer, I want to follow you more and more. Follow the Lord. Thank you, my Father. That is your prayer. That is your prayer. That is your prayer. Now open your mouth and pray. Lord, I want to follow you. Lord, I want to serve you. Worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I want to serve you, God. Lord, I want to serve you, God. Jesus, 
Promise to love you forever. Thank you, committed to God. about those who want to give their lives to Jesus. You want to give your life to Jesus. And he has made a promise to you. That promise, he will not break it. It will start all over. He will release this thing upon you. And you who have given your life to Jesus already, maybe you backslid. Join them. Put hand upon yourself and say, Lord Jesus, I come back, carry me, carry me, carry me. Pour these promises upon my life. Tell him, tell him that, please, please, Jesus, I'm ready now. Hey, I will be betrothed to you. I'm ready. I I confess my sins. Confess your sins and tell the devil to live your life. You have gotten a better betrothal uh, husband. You have gotten a better savior, a better Lord, better person. You don't need him anymore. You should live your life. Thank you, Jesus. With everlasting love, he has loved you. With loving kindness, he is inviting you. Promise that you will not go back to sin again. Tell him you will not go back to sin again. You will not. 
you were not. Almighty Father, these ones want to join the fold. They want to be, make a betrothal relationship with you. Because the promise of made is great. You mean, this is what you do, I told them, even in my life. I've seen you doing this. Now they're interested. Father, walk it out in their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Lay the blood of Jesus, wash them clean from their sin. Amen. You spirit of the devil, get out from their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. They are for Jesus. They are not for you. Jesus has taken over their lives. They are going to live righteous life now. And God's power of righteousness come upon them in Jesus' name. Oh, wonderful. The love of God flow into them. Look, divine care come upon them. Divine security come upon them. Loving kindness of God cover them. The mercy of God come upon them like a garment. Righteousness flourish in them. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. You have gotten many people for eternal life together. Worship. As you have said. Today, as you begin with them, there shall be no end. Thank you. Open your mouth and thank God because he has chosen you. He has chosen you. You have come into the number. You have come into the number. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God be glorified. God be glorified. God be glorified. Let God be magnified. Let God be magnified. Jesus, that's great of you. That's great of you. Worship. Thank you. Your life is a new one. God has taken over. Tell God you, are, you, you have taken over my life. It's not for Satan again. It's not for immorality. No, 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 no. Not for immorality. Not for anybody to be robbing your body and defiling it anymore. You are for Jesus. I will betroth thee unto me forever. Thank you. Worship you, Lord. Jesus' name we pray. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, Revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4348. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. 
For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe. You 
purchased me with your blood you are my lord and my savior you left your throne above and took up the form of a servant for my sin I believe in you, you are the living Savior. Jesus, I 